We are going pink for the next hour, and by now, you probably know why. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's when plenty of people all across the country raise money for research and programs to support those who are in that fight. We're doing our part through the Real Men Wear Pink of North Alabama campaign. Did you know there are more than 3.8 million breast cancer survivors in the United States? And that includes women who are undergoing treatment or have finished their treatment. Early detection is key in that race. While we're making progress, there is still plenty of work to be done. And leading the charge here at News 19, our very own Jerry Hayes, who is part of this year's Real Men Wear Pink of North Alabama campaign. And he has a special guest with him now who knows more about the campaign than anyone else. Jerry. I hope he does, and I know he <laughs> does, Christine. Brian Anderson is with the American Red Cross. Brian, American first Cancer of all, Society. American Cancer Society. Did I say? It's all so right. So many it's different right. organizations <laughs> right out of the gates. Tell us a little bit about the history of the Real Men Wear Pink campaign of sure, North Alabama. Yeah, so Real Men Wear Pink is actually a national uh, campaign. The ACS does it in cities throughout the country. Uh, but here in North Alabama, we've been doing it for uh, seven years. And it's been largely central to Huntsville and Madison, but it is for the whole region. So we're trying to get uh, everyone involved. By getting everyone involved, you recruit guys during the month of October people that, that to get back to the community people with different corporations people with the sheriff's department and sheriff's office and 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 really just trying to get people involved so that breast cancer is not just for women there are men and women who go through this. Yeah, absolutely. There was uh, 2,600 men last year diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, but beyond that, you know, I, I, I've said this before, but, um, you know, we, we're all in this together. We all have our, our wives, our daughters, our, our mothers. So it's not just the women. The men are, have to be there for them as well. During the Real Men Wear Pink campaign of North Alabama, we have been raising money for several weeks now. We will continue the campaign all the way through the month of October and then it ends. What is the goal of the American Cancer Society? Our goal is 100,000. Uh, it's, it's very ambitious. We've never done that before here in Huntsville, but I think we got a group of great guys, including yourself, that, that can absolutely make that happen. We had a, a get together a couple of weeks ago to kind of kick off the campaign, and we had a, a young lady by the name of Jana Padgett, who is a cancer survivor 11 years now. Yes. She shared with us a little bit about her story, and we're going to hear more from her in our next half hour. How important is it for those who have battled breast cancer to lead the charge? Well, absolutely. They know better than anybody you know, what it is to go through that, uh, how it's life-changing, uh, how you can be scared. Uh, but it's important to know that they're not alone. Uh, and having someone like Jana and her story is, is just such a great story. I'm glad that you guys have been able to talk to her. Uh, to hear that and to hear how you can survive and come out stronger and lead that charge and help the community that you're part of. Brian, talk a little bit about the support programs that the American Cancer Society provides for people who are going through the battle. Yeah, absolutely. One of the great things that we have is a 1-800 number, and I'm just going to check my cheat sheet for that exact number. It's 1-800-227-2345. Yeah. That is a 24-7 line that people can call uh, if they have been diagnosed with cancer, if their friends or family are going through cancer. They can learn about different support groups, different programs in their local area. And like I said, that's 24-7 in several different languages, and it's always available and free. And while we are specifically talking about breast cancer during the month of October, you guys are doing research not only on that, but other cancers as well. Yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, we just had a, a brand refresh and rolled out, and our new slogan is every cancer, every life. So, um, you know, this, this particular campaign is for breast cancer research, but the American Cancer Society is the leading nonprofit that is doing cancer research in the country, and that's for all cancers. Brian, it's nice to know that we have the American Cancer Society here in North Alabama to help those people who are taking that journey. I appreciate you taking time to be with us today. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you for being part of this campaign. I wouldn't want to do anything else right now. By the way, here's how you can help the Real Men Wear Pink of North Alabama campaign. You can buy a t-shirt or you can make a donation. You see the QR code on your screen? Go ahead and grab your phone, pull up your camera app, and shoot that right now. It's going to give you a link that will take you to WHNT.com. We're working with our friends at Green Pea Press to print some t-shirts that are taking us all the way back to 1979. You can order a pink one or a gray one. 
Now, the campaign ends in just a little more than four days, so you need to go ahead and pre-order now. You can also directly donate to our campaign on the American Cancer Society website. Once again, either go to whnt.com and search for Real Men Wear Pink or shoot the QR code on your screen right now and it will take you to our website. Christine?